Hello, I'm a flying wing and I'm Mint. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to this episode and we are going to be talking about the uh, Hornet FPV flying wing. This little thing is absolutely mint. So uh, with that said, in the background you can see some FPV footage from the weekend uh, and that footage was taken using the Hornet flying wing and uh, what a brilliant little model. Uh, very quickly becoming my firm favorite uh, for fast FPV in. Uh, it's, uh, I'll, I'll walk you through the lineup, which we've got on here. Number one, the most obvious thing is, is that we got a very, very snazzy paint job on her. Uh, and uh, if you're wondering why, Matt, why have you painted her silver and purple? Uh, that's the two cans of spray paint I had to hand. So yeah, and I, I'm super chuffed, especially with the bottom as well. Just used a bit of tape on that. Uh, I'll walk you through the power house, well the, the bit, the, well we'll start with the servos, there we go. Uh, the servos are the Tower Pro MG90S, I'm sure you've heard me rave about these and there's a link in either top, it'll be in your top left hand corner, no, top right hand corner, whichever side of the screen it is. I'll put a link to that video in there because these metal gear servos are cheaper than the Hobby King plastic ones. Uh, the control horns, they're absolutely amazeballs. I'll put a link to those in the video description for you. Uh, the motor is an Emax MT1806 2280KV. This thing is about the size of my thumb. I don't know if you can see that on the web camera, but it's absolutely diddy. But it's actually quite a surprising little powerhouse. And you'll also notice that I've got a carbon fiber prop, and I did have a little black propeller. You go, well, it is here. I'll probably find it after. Oh, no, there it is. Uh, it did come uh, or suggested using a little 5030 gem fan prop, uh, which I did use for a while. Uh, and then I swapped it to a 6030 carbon fiber one. And uh, look at that. It looks well cool. And um, it sounds pretty cool, but it doesn't have to jump through the battery quite quickly. Uh, and then on the top, so, uh, by the way, great little motor, uh, thoroughly impressed with its size. Uh, to the point, I'm not right now thinking about upgrading the motor because the flight time compared to the thrust is really good. Really good. You're, like, you're talking like 15 minutes worth of flight time if you're not completely ragging the nuts off it. Uh, and about 10 if you are. So, not bad at all. Uh, I'm using a Turnergy Plush 18 amp ESC. Uh, and the reason why I'm using that one is because of what I had in my ESC's box. And um, plus it's kind of small uh, and rated appropriately for the propeller and uh, motor combination. Then going underneath there, we've got the, it's the FR Sky, it's the, let me get this right, VAR42 uh, receiver. Nice little receiver, uh, goes out to about a kilometer. Absolutely spot on, super cheap, works brilliantly. Uh, and I'll put a link to the hot glue mod in whichever the top or right, whichever the top right hand corner is on your screen. I'll put a little link up there to a little tip build video for that one uh, so that the antenna stays on there. Uh, I've got the video um, transmitter embedded in the wing. Uh, and then I generally, d oh, I do know what camera that is. And I've got a special little series coming up on that because it's about this camera in this box using a special board uh, so that you can configure it. Now, the camera is costs less than 10 quid. It's got an on-screen display, but you, which you can configure using this board. Now, obviously it doesn't give you current use and things like that. Uh, the on-screen display allows you to change all the settings for the actual camera itself, so you can turn uh, when they come out of the box, you don't have the dynamic uh, range or whatever it is turned on. Uh, so I'll take you through all the settings of that. And I've got a video coming on that one shortly. Uh, I do, and then all the wiring going on in there, I've got the power connector for the balance lead of the uh, battery and obviously an XT60 connector where the lead has been and fallen down. So I'm just going to quickly poke that back on. Uh, appropriately like so and as far as batteries go I, I'm using well to be honest I bought three of the suggested batteries which are the nanotech uh, 850 milliamp fear batteries and to be honest it runs fine but on a windier day or if I fancy a, 
a longer flight time, then mm, I've got picked up the battery of loads of tape over it. Uh, is the Nanotech uh, 1.3 3S battery, uh, but that's the 65C one, uh, and it, you will get longer flight times out of the bigger battery, and it does penetrate the air an awful lot better compared to this battery. Uh, but ironically, flight times are about the same, if that makes sense, because uh, with the heavier battery, you're putting more up in there. Now, the only thing which I can say bad about the Hornet uh, FPV wing is that when she's inverted, I don't know if you can see the angle on there, is that it may be just because the way I put it together or the way it was designed, uh, is that it is kind of pointing nose down. So you don't have to have to put an awful, awful lot of down in there. Literally, the stick's up near the top uh, on the Tyrannus uh, in here to get it to fly in a straight line. Besides that, the roll rate on it is absolutely mental uh, and it's great just for bashing around the sky. Um, it is a little bit noisy because it is a pusher configuration, so I wouldn't mind getting back there and trimming back uh, some of the square block on the back. Let me just point this out to you with the other propeller, some of that block there. I think I'm gonna trim that down to a point just trying to get more airflow over the propeller because it does make quite a choppy noise when it's on full pelt. Uh, but that said, like it, it is fast, very, very quickly becoming my firm favorite uh, for FPV. Uh, it's great fun, it's extremely agile. Uh, and I don't know if you've seen, I've got some air gates or some uh, gates for to fly through. Uh, I will be using that one to do it. And also like uh, all my models uh, is ultimately, if I smashed that one up tomorrow, I would definitely go and buy another one. And I'll put a full outline of all the parts lists of what I'm using, uh, and I really do need to get that build video up on here on new builds. So yeah, give me a while and I'll get that one up for you as well. Now I did pay for that one out of my money, so if you have any questions about the Hornet FPV flying wing, please just ask in the comments section underneath this video. Oh, and if you also own a Hornet FPV flying wing, Please let us know what setup you're using, what kind of motors, what kind of batteries uh, and uh, ESC combos, uh, because I would be really interested. I'm sure others who, who go on and watch this episode would also be interested too. So with that said, let's get back to the flight footage. Um, for myself, Matt, thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch this episode. Now, if you do enjoy this episode, do me a favor, hit the fun, fun, uh, thumbs up button, the like button underneath this video, uh, and any comments, good, bad, or ugly, I'd really like to hear from you. So with that said, from myself, Matt, cheerios.